Solar energy is unlimited and the cleanest source of energy freely available to everyone on planet Earth. It can be used anywhere and anytime if there is sunlight. The potential of energy is much bigger as compared to other forms of energy we are using today. In a very simple calculation, each individual on Earth can share 3 megawatts of solar energy at a time. Today, different countries of the world are harnessing solar power to satisfy their energy demand. Ethiopia is one of them. Considering its huge potential of solar energy, Ethiopia has been undertaking several solar power projects in different parts of the country. <laughs> Ethiopia has thirty months of sunshine. That means we have huge solar energy. Everyone can use solar energy at home with simple effort. Therefore, we are working hard to inspire private investors to get them involved in solar energy development so that they can distribute power for all in different parts of the country by the coming years. The country's five years rural electrification package do not include some places in Ethiopia for electric grid line installation. Rather, solar energy development program was put in place as an option designed to such areas to provide electrification service. Hi. So far, we had been using solar energy for basking and drying washed clothes, and we have never seen and heard of solar energy services for electrification purpose until recent years. Now, we are seeing this solar light like a newly born baby. In the rural parts of Ethiopia, people mostly relied on kerosene lamps for lighting purpose. However, such energy sources are toxic, hazardous to health and expensive. <laughs> These lamp devices have filled with kerosene. We bought half of it with four burr and use it for four hours maximum. When it gets off, we burn the firewood and the children continue studying. Kalaye the karsha yes arkedan. Aun da mo zare lijo chu zikurazi yebaza yebara. Bazi chus yeta fam bin. Bzu budla thi dar sabino yar kubeta msagana ba. The shoot of kerosene lamp has damaged the roof of our home for many years. The smoke of kerosene lamp is also hurting the health of my children. I was scared of it. In the past, my children used to study at night using kerosene lamp and firewood lighting. Both have toxic and hazardous smoke. However, after we had solar lighting service in our rural village, my children are reading and studying well at night. They no longer bother about collecting firewood for lighting. I myself have got rid of kerosene smokes, and now I can move freely from place to place at night. This is the rural village of Rama in North Shawa zone of Amara Regional State in Ethiopia. Located around 242 kilometers north of the capital Addis Ababa, the village of Rama is home to Ethiopia's largest solar project. Here, every one house in the village has electricity powered by solar energy schemes. <laughs> You know, 
There is a big difference between now and then in terms of electrification service. So far, kerosene lamp smokes had been haunting mostly the eyes of women. Now, since we have solar power in our home, we can off and on the light as we wish. I feel as if I born again. Rima, be akamamitawi be geographical akamamitawam be be amistamit yaga ye Ethiopia ye mabratel planust. The landscape of Rama village is not comfortable for basic infrastructures such as road and power development. As a result, this rural village was not incorporated in the country's five years electrification plan, which is based on connecting to a national grid line. Therefore, Rama was selected to get power under off-grid electrification program. In 2005, we have started pilot study of solar project in North Shua zone of Amara Regional State, including its rural village of Rama, in collaboration with non-governmental organization known as Mention for Mention. In 2007, we have officially launched the biggest solar energy project in this village, which is known as Rama Solar Project. Non-governmental organizations have huge capacity in undertaking several crucial works, especially in areas of energy development. For instance, Germany's energy, known as GIZ, is working on solar energy, stops and biogas development in different parts of Ethiopia, including the rural village of Rama. Therefore, we can work closely with such non-governmental organizations. Today, one can witness at least one solar panel on the roof of each house in Rama village, which gives power for about four lamps in a household. In this area, there are two villages known as Rama and Rima Dure. In both villages, around 2,200 families have become beneficiaries of this solar energy project. Each family can use up to four lamps in its house. They can also use the solar power to play radio and tape recorder. The solar project in Rama village is not only restricted for electrification purpose but also used to pump potable water from distance in order to distribute it to the local residents. Rima Batichamari, Mabrata Batichamari, Yeraswa Yona, Basolari Misara, Yotar Pump Alat, Yayotar Pump, Kazi Sawat and Etabam's kilometer. In addition to electricity, Rama has its own water pumping which works with solar energy at this point in time. This water pump had the capacity to run 75,000 liters of water to the town every day. After purifying, all the 75,000 liters of water will be sent to the storage tank through the water pump. Then after, it will be distributed for all the residents of this locality. Before having this water pump, the local people used to travel seven and a half kilometers to fetch water. Now we have water and electricity in our village. There is nothing missing. Everything is fulfilled. Our village is shining, both day and night, with the help of solar power.
In addition to rural villages, the solar power technology has also been in use in the health institutions. The Haitana Health Center of Sidama Zone in Southern Regional State is one of the beneficiaries of solar power project. We don't offer laboratory service in this health station before receiving solar power. We used to treat patients based on the symptoms they tell us. During that time, the patients do not trust what we prescribe without laboratory testing. But after we had the solar power, we immediately started using the laboratory. As a result, the patient flow to this health station has extremely increased. So far, there was no electric service in this health station. As a result, they give service during the daytime only. At night, some may die for lacking medical treatment at that time. Even there was no glucose for medical emergency service. Now, since there is electric service in the health station, the numbers of patients are increasing very much. Now we offer 24 hour services for the patient. Everybody in this health station is always ready to provide the service. Accordingly, all patients coming to the station will go back to their home by receiving full medical treatment. I'm a security guard in local Hoytella Health Station. Using a solar energy, I listen to radio news, programs, and entertainments. I have been gaining knowledge from radio news and programs. To play radio, I don't buy dry cell anymore now. Today, around 300 health and educational institutions have become beneficiaries of the solar energy development program. Rural health posters need electric power to speed up their work, which is accomplished using microscope, refrigerator, and others. Rural schools are also other beneficiaries of solar power technologies in Ethiopia. Located in Lume district of East Shawan Zone in Oromia Regional State, Bale Ruketi Primary School is one of the beneficiaries of solar power. Bale Ruketi and the other people solar power. Bale Ruketi Primary School started to receive the solar energy service in the second half of 2010 and in 2011 we have started fully using solar energy services previously when we learn educational radio programs we face problems because it used dry cell which is relatively costly as a result we do not pursue our education very well now we have solar energy in our school. We can watch TV at break and we are learning many things from it. And we listen our radio education in a good way. Thank 
ካስር ሬዲዮ ሬዲዮ ባላም ያለ ነው አሁን እሱ እዚ በየሰክሽኑ ስናስተመር ብዙ ወጪ ነው እንትን ይሆነ በባቴ ድንጋይ በኩል we have more than 10 radio sets in our school there are educational radio programs which are offered to the students all these radio sets need dry cell to function which is costly now we have drastically reduced the cost of dry cell so far we used to travel 25 kilometers to duplicate examination sheets now we duplicate here since we have solar energy in our school here in rural village of baliabo people manage to secure solar power and its technology at family level through their rural association mahabaru ቀደም ስር በ2000 ዓመታት ምራት ነበር እንትን ያለው የተቃውቃም ነው Our association was founded in 2007 comprising of 81 members to receive solar energy we have contributed 5% of its cost and handed over to the concerned body accordingly in 2010 we had the solar energy and now we are enjoying it በስካውን ሂደታችን በዋናነት መንግስት ነው ሲሰራ የነበረ በቀጣይ ግን የታሰበው ምንድነው በአብዛኛው በግለሰብ Up to now it was a government that has been mainly working on solar energy development program but in the future we want the private investor and unions to get involved in this alternative energy development this is because they have showed encouraging result in offering solar power to rural families who are living in areas which are difficult to connect to the national electricity grid but the government can offer technical support to them whenever it is important the rising and setting of sun is meaningless for some people for others it is the source of natural beauty but for those people who their life depend on it the sun continues to be the source of energy